guys, it's Savannah and welcome back to my channel. If you guys haven't already, please go ahead and click on the subscribe button down below. It would mean so, so much for me. And don't forget to also tap on the notification bell so you guys will be notified when I upload a new video. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and also follow me on my other social media sites that will be right here for you guys. I would love, love, love to talk to you guys over there. And yeah, so for today's video, it is going to be a drugstore Valentine's Day look. I wanted to create something that was romantic but also easy and just gave off a really pretty dusty soft look. So this is the look that I came up with. I'm really happy with the way it turned out to be. And yeah, if you guys want to see how to get this look, go ahead and keep on watching. So to get on started, I've already moisturized my skin, put on some lip balm, and now I'm ready to apply some primer. Today I'm going to be using my Wet n Wild Coverall Primer. After I have my primer on, I'm going to go ahead and use some of my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Soft Beige. I really like this foundation as well. I feel like it just gives such a beautiful, flawless coverage and it's so perfect if you are going to be taking pictures. Okay, and now moving on to under eye concealer, I'm going to be using my Instant Age Rewind by Maybelline and applying that under my eyes and also down the bridge of my nose. And to set my brightener, I'm going to go ahead and use the lighter shade in the Dolce de Leche um, contouring palette from Wet n Wild. And to set the rest of my face, I'm going to go ahead and use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Pressed Powder and I'm in the shade Warm Beige. Moving on to brows, I'm going to be using my e.l.f. Brow Pencil in the shade Taupe. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply some eye primer. And to set my brows, I'm going to go ahead and use my NYX Tinted Brow Mascara. So today I'm going to be using the Maybelline The Blush Nude Palette. I really love the shade selections that you get in this palette. I think it's perfect for Valentine's Day and it's affordable. Um, the pigmentation in this palette isn't the best. I'm going to be honest with you guys about that, but it is still workable. So I didn't want to just never use this palette just because it's not super highly pigmented. Um, especially for those of you guys who do have this palette, um, I wanted to just go ahead and utilize it for this video. And yeah, so to start off, I'm going to go ahead and use this shade right here and use that as my transition color. And then I'm going to go ahead and take this color right here and apply that all over my lid. And after I've applied the color onto my lids, I'm going to just blend everything out. I'm not going to take any more product. I'm just going to use the brush that I used to apply the transition color. go in with this white pearly shade right here and use that as my highlight color and now I'm gonna go ahead and line my eyes with my Jordana Fabu liner in black Now I'm going to go ahead and apply some Ardell Demi Wispies and I will be right back. So now my lashes are on and now I'm going to go ahead and go back into this shade right here and apply that under my lower lash line. And 
And then going back with the same highlighting shade that we used earlier, I'm going to apply that to my inner corners and then a little bit onto the lower lash line. To bronze my face, I'm going to go ahead and use the darker shade in the Dolce de Leche contour palette. First to love, and it's all it took, and suddenly we had each other, and I won't leave you. And for blush, I'm going to be using my Sonia Kashuk blush in the shade Pink Rose. I love this color. I think it's just such a cute pink. It's perfect for Valentine's Day. And then to highlight, I'm going to go ahead and use my Catwalk Pink Illuminating Palette from Wet n Wild and focusing it on the two lighter shades over here. lips, I'm going to go ahead and apply my Rimmel London Kate lipstick in number 14. Over and, over again. and then over top, I'm going to go ahead and apply my Wet n Wild Catsuit lipstick in the shade Rebel Rose. So I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. If you guys have any other questions or concerns or even video requests, please leave them all down in the comments down below. I would love to read from you guys. And don't forget to also subscribe to my channel so you guys won't miss any of my uploaded videos. And make sure to tap on the notification bell so you guys will be notified when I upload a new video. If you guys haven't already, please go ahead and follow me on my other social media sites that I will leave right there for you guys. And I think that is all, so please thumbs up and subscribe because it would make me very happy and my heart all fuzzy and thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys!